So I, I chose the, the research route because uh, you, you get to choose any school in the nation uh, to go do your PhD. And you can do your PhD in any topic as long as it's science-based. So toxicology, oncology, um, and I, d I did mine as uh, molecular epidemiology, which uh, was a comparative biomedical uh, PhD. Uh, well, we're very understaffed right now. That's why we're recruiting, um, trying to find veterinarians that will either pursue their PhD or that already have their PhD to help us. Um, I think we're about 50% fill right now, um, which is up from the last couple years. Yeah, so I'm the only one at RARE uh, at the Center for Infectious Disease Research, and there's at least four slots there. So we're, we're pretty short staffed right now. The challenge is that uh, we're very busy at our job, so we're not out <laughs> publicly you know, uh, talking to folks who are very studious and, you know, in the laboratory and working on our research. Um, and, and because there's only a few of us, we're all over, you know, covering different missions. And so for becoming a 64 Echo, um, that there's so many opportunities for research. Really, it's what you can think up, um, you can you can do. You can go to any university, um, talk to any of the PIs, the um, principal investigators, and see what they're working on. You can get involved in any of those projects. And if you're a veterinarian and you're interested in pursuing your PhD, the Army will pay for that. And it counts as time and service. Just great opportunities out there. So.